the position of women in New Zealand is completely different than it was in the past. There has been immense progress. We haven't addressed the male-female thing yet. There is still a glass ceiling. Women are much more powerful and much freer than they would be in many parts of the world. And also, they don't have the same opportunities on average and they don't have the same safety on average as a man does. Um, you know, society at times all over the world lets women down, I think. Uh, but New Zealand, well, we're not perfect. I think are getting better. I think we all owe it to ourselves and to each other to, to remind ourselves that we still have a lot to learn. And even if you're an old fart like me. Well, firstly, we have to admit that probably the women are right in the sense that they are not treated uh, equally uh, because there's so many factual things that we can turn to that, uh, that actually ag agree with them. And wages, uh, for example. I know growing up as, um, as a boy having a mother who was a lawyer and then a judge, one of the, the second female judge in New Zealand, and she was very young when she became a judge, how hard she had to fight and how hard she still has to fight to just get into what is the old boys club. Uh, the boys club, I, I think that's changed, I hope it has. Um, we're a very family orientated team and, and uh, you know, you'll see in our environment, uh, wives and partners uh, are very much part of who we are. I, I just think we need to keep reminding ourselves, young people too, that we don't know it all and, and, and that, we, that, the, that the things we believe in thus far, we may have been wrong about. What we're seeing is we're seeing a country which is in a state of transition where, where the suffragettes have done one part of it and other people have done other parts of it and we're on our way somewhere, which we definitely are. We're going in the right direction. But like on every issue, we're not there yet.